The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Birther issue, and I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I've heard you say that you are doing something. I don't agree with you on this whole birther issue. Plus, I think you're doing a great fundraising for the Democratic Party. By putting that aside, you, are, you, you have said that you are investigating. What are you doing? Well, I think it's a very popular issue, and I think that nobody has solved anything. A lot of people are calling my office. They just did a poll. Seventy-five percent of the Republicans think there really could be something to it, and about 30 percent of the Republicans don't think that Obama was born in this country. He hasn't provided a birth certificate. It's a, it's a certificate of live birth, which is totally, totally different. He hasn't, I mean, there's so many different things that he hasn't done. He's spending a fortune in legal fees to try and get away from the issue. So I'm a little bit surprised at you. His grandmother said very, very plainly, his, yeah, but grandmother, I... said, his grandmother said very plainly that he was born in Kenya until all of the handlers went crazy, and then 60 seconds later, she maybe came up with a different answer, but nobody really heard it. I mean, there's a lot of crazy things going on what, here. What are you doing, though, specifically, I'm looking Donald? into it very seriously. Like what, though? Well, do you, have I don't you want to tell you, Greta, the... I don't want to go what into the... that. I, there's no reason to go into that in great detail, but I can tell you I have great resources, and I'm looking, it into, I'm looking into it very seriously. As an example, where are his hospital records? How come his family is arguing over which hospital he was born in in Hawaii? They don't even know which hospital he was born in, but the grandmother said he was born in Kenya. This is actually, not an issue. I'm surprised at you, Greta. This is I, I, not an issue that they I'll like. I'll tell you why. I, I, I mean, I've gone through. I mean, I've listened even to the former Republican governor of Hawaii who says that he was born there. She believes that the, they had a... But do you really room. believe that? Do you really believe that the governor of Hawaii was in the hospital room when Obama was oh, born 50 no, years no, ago? No, no, no. I, I don't he believe she was there, the but party. I... He took I, one I for believe, the party. No, no, this is the Republican woman governor, um, Laura Lingo, who said that she spoke to the head of whoever it was and that they looked at it. Um, so well, I'm willing to accept at the, it. I'd like to see proof. You know, Greta, when you were born, we can go and check those records, and you'll see the room number, the doctor's name, the nurse's name, how much your parents paid for that wonderful day in the history of this country when you came out and into this world. Okay, everybody has that. There's no records. There's no records. There's no birth certificate. There's no records. You know records. what, Donald? I suspect that he does, but he's using this enormous fundraising because every time people complain about it, I bet money comes in over the transom of the Democratic Party. I don't think tactically that he wants to produce it. You know what? I disagree with you. I think it's a very bad issue for him, and I think he loses a lot. And if he he would do the favor, he would do this country a big favor if he has a birth certificate, a real birth certificate, not a certificate of live birth, which is totally different and a much much lower standard. If he has a birth certificate, I think he'd produce it and he'd produce it fast. And I'd love to see him produce it because I don't think this should be an issue. I would love to see it produced, Greta. All right. Let me ask you one other thing is that uh, on Fox today, you said that if uh, you run for president, you were going to be um, the president's worst nightmare. How's that? Well, look, he came out with some little nasty snippets at me, and he doesn't talk about Mr. Pawlenty. He doesn't talk about other candidates. He talks about me. He sent his minion out to say some little negative things. I'm sure the guy was told exactly what to say. It didn't come out very well. And frankly, I'm honored by that because he is concerned, whether it's the Bertha issue or the fact that he's doing a terrible job with China because China's taking all of our jobs. They're taking our money. They're making our products. They're manipulating the currency, which makes it very hard for our companies to compete whether it's opec you're going to see your gasoline for your car be six seven and eight dollars a gallon very soon he has no control over opec because they don't respect him whether it's mexico what's going on there uh, libya a total mess i mean the man is doing a terrible job as president the last person they want to run against is me and i know that from a fact for people that are very close to obama since our last conversation, are you closer to running than you were before? Well, the date is closer. I've said from day one. From but the but first in your time mind, spoke, in your mind, in your mind, are you closer? Uh, I don't want to say that because I don't want to get myself into a situation where I say something incorrectly. I would never want to be there. I will tell you this. The country is not respected. It's run poorly. We're a laughing stock throughout the world. And I'm going to make my decision on or before June 1st. I take you're not afraid of the president in terms of taking him on. 
I'd love to take them on, and I'd love to take them on without the Bertha issue because I'd like to be one-on-one, and that's the way it should be. But he ought to straighten out this issue, and he also ought to straighten out Obamacare. He should let this case go directly to the Supreme Court. It's actually a very similar issue. We're going to be spending on that. billions oh, of I dollars. Told, can I tell you, that's the biggest waste of money that that matter is not in the mm-hmm. United States Supreme Court. That is such a waste of everyone's time and money on both sides. Greta, you have companies right now that are retooling themselves for Obamacare. They're spending hundreds of thousands and hundreds of millions and billions of dollars in this country. They're retooling themselves. And there's a good chance. We all know it's going to go to the Supreme Court. So why wouldn't he let it just go right now to the Supreme Court? I'm totally with you that it's totally political that th- that he is not saying let's fast track to the, su- to the Supreme Court. And I do not understand why the states aren't making the same demand. I'm it's totally the most understand incredible that. thing I've ever seen because we're going to be at these lower courts for a long period of time. Companies are going to have no idea where they are. Legal fees are going to be through the roof, hundreds of millions of dollars. And all he has to do is let it go directly to the Supreme Court and let a decision be made one way or the other. And, you know, it's a little bit like those two issues are a little bit similar in their own way. Let them produce a birth certificate. Let it go to the Supreme Court right away. Well, see, I actually circle back not to the birth certificate issue, but to the, where we started, where I say, why don't you know? Why don't they take care of the debt ceiling now than putting it up to the last minute? Why are they waiting for the last minute on the Supreme Court when they could decide that very quickly for the American people, no matter which way it falls, so that we have certainty? To me, that's a very disloyal thing. Having all of this work be done, and I know people that have companies and they're very concerned about Obamacare, and they're retooling their companies. It's a very expensive thing to do for a company. They're retooling their company for Obama. Care and it might not even happen, or it might happen, but at least let's know about it. The word is certainty. In business, you want certainty. Donald, thank you. Always nice to uh, talk to you. Thank you very much, Greta. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.